Alright guys, welcome to your 14th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about comparison operators and decision making because you know what up to this point we've been making some pretty simple programs but if you think about it all we've been making is basically just a calculator not very exciting not very smart but the key thing is with Ruby and not only with Ruby but with good computer programs they do more than just add and multiply and divide numbers a good computer program can make a decision. It could look at a test and depending on that test or depending on the criteria, it can either run this code or that code. So aside from just, you know, crunching numbers, it can actually have a brain and decide things. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that right now. So say that we wanted to make a program where the user inputs their weight and maybe if it's too big or maybe if it's too small we need to tell them to lose some weight or eat some <laughs> or eat some cheeseburgers or something like that. So let me go ahead and say the weight they entered was 120 pounds. Now of course this is very skinny unless you're like a five year old girl <laughs> but uh, anyways if someone has a weight of like 120 pounds then we need to tell them to eat some cheeseburgers. So we say this we got a variable called weight and it's equal to 120 pounds. Now let me show you guys a simple comparison operator in a simple way that Ruby can make decisions. We're going to say puts you need to eat can I spell eat? E-A-T, there I go, some cheeseburgers. And by the way, did you guys ever try Five Guys Burgers and Fries? It is delicious. I just tried it for the first time about a week ago. If you never tried it before, I'd highly recommend it. Okay, so what we're gonna say is puts, you need to eat some cheeseburgers. And if we just go ahead and enter now, it's just gonna write that on the screen no matter what. But we don't want to write this on the screen no matter what. We only wanna write, you need to eat some cheeseburgers if, your weight is less than 150. So basically we're saying, okay, write this on the screen, but only write it on the screen if the weight is less than 150. Because if you weigh less than 150, then you're gonna need to eat something. If you weigh more than 150, then you're fine, you're healthy. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and check it out. It writes, you need to eat some cheeseburgers because weight was 120 and 120 is less than 150. So just remember this, whenever you want to make a simple test in Ruby, you use the keyword if. Now after if, you write a simple condition or expression. And basically, I'm going to say this, it's called a condition or expression, but I just call it a test. Now there's a bunch of different things like greater than, less than, equals to, I'm going to show you later, but this is a very simple test. You take a variable and see if it's less than a number. If the variable is less than the number, then this test is true in the code runs. If the variable is more than, well, I'll show you guys. So say that weight is now equal to 600. Okay, well now we run our test again. And by the way, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, if you hit up on your keyboard, then it just cycles through your previous statements. So check it out. We now set the weight equal to 600, so it overrides the old value of 120. So now the weight is greater than 150. So this test is no longer true. We only want to run this code if the weight is great, or excuse me, if the weight is less than 150. Now that they weigh more than 150, we don't need to say you need to eat some cheeseburgers. So go ahead and hit enter and look at this. Unlike last time where it outputted, you need to eat some cheeseburgers, it doesn't output anything anymore. So just remember that in order to make a simple test, write if, and then your test. If the test is true, then your code is going to run. If your test is false, which is in this case 600 is not less than 150, it's greater than 150, that is why our code doesn't run because our test was false instead of true. So that is how you do a simple test and in the next tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys about all the different types of uh, comparison operators and also show you guys how to test more than one condition at once. So that's what we have to look forward to. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.